Hello, in this final video of our series reviewing the new Omniot MQTT capabilities, we'll look at how you can control the SoftHub and even sensors connected to the SoftHub from many third-party cloud-based dashboards. In this example, we'll configure the SoftHub to connect to a Bluetooth Texas Instruments sensor tag sensor and to create an MQTT connection to a UBI DOTS dashboard. Unlike our other examples, we won't be auto-starting our sensor, so by default, no packets will be being sent. Instead, we'll configure a button on the UBI DOTS dashboard to trigger an event on the soft hub. A single rule associated with the event will then execute an action object that will send a read request to the Bluetooth sensor tag for the current ambient light level. When the resultant packet arrives, another rule will be defined which will publish the light level packet data to our UBI DOTS dashboard. We'll jump right into our example and then we'll take a quick look afterwards at the very simple configuration file we use to implement it. We have a Raspberry Pi Zero running the SoftHub daemon and it's currently connected to a Bluetooth Texas Instruments sensor tag sensor. The sensor tag has a light sensor on its front so for the demonstration we'll lay it on its back so it's facing upwards. The button widget on the right is our control widget and the gauge widget on the left shows the latest light level value we've received. We'll click the button to trigger our soft hub event and to see the current light level. Now we'll add some light using the flash from a cell phone. We click the read button and see the light level increase. We'll put the light right up to the sensor and take another reading. Again, we see the value jump higher still. We'll remove the light and take one last reading, and we're roughly back to our original value. The configuration file for this scenario is extremely simple. The one thing different from our previous examples, as mentioned earlier, is that we've disabled the global option to auto start sensors. By default, this setting is enabled, meaning that any sensors defined are automatically connected and that all selected sensor values are configured to begin notifications immediately. When not enabled, the connecting and starting of notifications, if desired, is left to the user. So for our example, we have a single connect sensor action object that we've configured to be executed on app startup. This will cause the sensor to connect, but won't enable notifications for any of the enabled sensor stream sensor values. We also have an initiate BLE write action object we've configured to be sent to the sensor once it connects. This writes to the light sensor's configuration characteristic to power itself on. Looking at our sensor stream definition, we can see that we've enabled the sensor tags light sensor as well as the light sensor's configuration characteristic, and that we've specified an event to be queued when the sensor initially connects and also any time a new packet arrives from the sensor. We have two additional action objects defined. The first is a publish data action object to publish any packet data we received from the sensor tag to the UBI DOTS MQTT broker. Notice here that unlike our previous examples, we've specified a device control topic to subscribe to. This tells the SoftHub to listen for messages published by the MQTT broker to the topic specified. On the dashboard, we've configured these incoming messages to specify a SoftHub event to be queued. Our final action object is an object that when executed will initiate the sending of a Bluetooth read operation to the sensor tag. We specified the sensor tag's light sensor as the value we'll request to be read. Now we have our sensor connection defined and the two action objects we'll need as well as the event object we defined to be queued whenever a new packet arrives. When the initiate BLE read action object gets executed, the packet that arrives in response will cause a new packet event to be queued, which in turn will cause the published data action object to be executed. That, in turn, will send the data to our UBI DOTS dashboard, causing the widget to be updated with the new value. The one missing ingredient is the event needed to trigger the Bluetooth read action. In our example, the event is named on UBI DOTS button, and it represents a new type of event just being introduced. This is the user-defined event. 
User-defined events are created by right-clicking on the Events node of the Rule Engine's navigation tree and selecting New, and then selecting User-defined event. User-defined events can only be queued by one of two methods, by sending the event name directly as part of a message from an NQTT broker, or if you are unable to modify the message your dashboard generates, you can use the input to UEV translation variables in the MQTT configuration files. For this example, we've modified the messages sent from the dashboard, but you can see the SoftHub configuration guide for information on how to use MQTT configuration files to map incoming data packets to your user-defined events. So to summarize, to implement our example, we only needed to configure four very simple rules. The first rule connects our sensor at application startup. The second will be evaluated when the sensor connects and will execute an action object to send a message to the sensor tag to power on the light sensor. The third rule is evaluated every time an incoming message from our MQTT connection is received specifying its triggering event name. The rule executes a single action object initiating a read of our connected sensor tag's light sensor's value. The fourth rule is evaluated every time a new packet arrives from our sensor tag. This will only happen in response to the third rule being executed. This rule in turn executes a single action object to forward the received packet data to the UBI dots dashboard for display. Different dashboards will have different methods of configuring their control widgets. Some are very simple and may not provide much flexibility, whereas others are very flexible but are somewhat more complex. For the UBI dots control widget, we needed to alter their example Java code somewhat to send our event name as our text string message. You can see it here in our example. Note that while the event name can be anywhere in the message, it should be prefixed with an uppercase UEV underscore followed by the full event name. Also note that all characters are case sensitive. That wraps up our introductory series to the SoftHub's new MQTT capabilities. Please see our documentation for additional details on these components. And as always, if you have any questions, requests, or comments, please follow up with us directly through our website. Thank you.